Hi, for this video, what we're going to do is we're gonna do an application involving a Venn diagram. Um, a lot of times, if you have a problem like this, it is easiest to draw the Venn diagram first and then answer the questions based on the Venn diagram. So I have three total questions that we're going to ask about this situation. So the situation is, is at a farmer's market, 155 customers made the following purchases. 95 purchased peaches, 80 purchased strawberries, and 35 purchased both peaches and strawberries. And so then we're gonna ask the questions, how many purchased only peaches? How many didn't purchase either peaches or strawberries? And how many purchased only strawberries? So in order to do that, what we wanna do is draw a Venn diagram to help us see what's going on. So when you draw a Venn diagram, remember that we take a rectangle and we draw it around the outside. And then inside of our rectangle, we have to have a total of 155. So all of the circles and the outside of the circle have to add up to be 155. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a circle to represent both of these. So I'm gonna draw a circle for peaches. And I'm just gonna label this P for peaches. If you wanna write out peaches, you can. I just don't have a whole lot of room in there. And then I'm gonna grab a pink one for strawberries okay there is an overlap on this because of the fact that we have some of both okay um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to label everything um, that we have from our information here the starting place is the both so this is my overlap so this is what I want to start with and it says that 35 purchased both. So that means that I'm gonna write 35 inside of the circle right here. So 35 is the overlap, okay? So always start with the overlap and then we can move into strawberries. So we have 80 of them um, purchased strawberries total. So that means inside of this entire circle, there has to be 80 total. So this outside portion right here would be found by doing 80 minus 35. So if you wanna see what's going on here, I'm taking 80 and I'm subtracting 35. So that tells us that 45 is what is in this outside circle right here. Because if I do 80 minus 35, I get a total of 45. So that way there is a total of 80 inside of the strawberries. And then I need to do the same thing for the peaches. So as far as the peaches goes, this part out here, the outer edge of the circle, has to be equal to 95 minus 35. So that tells me that there is a total of 60 in this outer ring of the circle. So if I counted this up, I would have a total of 95 inside of the peaches circle. So if you remember, we said that we had a total of 155 customers. So that means that the part inside of this circle, the part inside of this circle, and this value out here has to total 155. So what we wanna do now is, um, if we're looking at peaches or strawberries, this would be found by adding the 60 plus the 35, which is 95, plus 45. So if I add these together, I get 60 plus 35 is 95, 100, 140. So 140 customers purchased peaches or strawberries. So to find the outside portion here, so to figure out what number goes here on the outside, we would take the total customers, 155, minus 140. So that tells us that 15 people did not purchase peaches or strawberries. So you could have answered these questions without drawing the picture, but a lot of times having the picture will help you answer them much more quickly. So if we look at this, it says how many purchased only peaches? So we're looking at just this region right here on the outside, not the overlap of the two. So 60 would be the total that purchased just peaches. Okay, um, for the next questions, it says, how many didn't purchase either peaches or strawberries? And so we found the answer to that one um, by doing this outside part right here. So we can say that 15 
didn't purchase either peaches or strawberries. And then our last question asks how many purchased only strawberries? And so if we look back up here, the strawberries is just this part out here. So we're looking on the outside, not the overlap. So this part right here. And so we could say that 45 purchased just strawberries. So again, anytime you have a situation like this, the best thing to do is to set up a Venn diagram, starting with the overlap first, and that's the first thing that you wanna start with is the overlap. And then from there, you would just find the difference to find the outer part of the circle, the part where it's just that alone, and then you would find the total inside the circles and subtract it from the total total to get the outside portion. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well. And if you get a chance, please subscribe.